Hello, dear students, and welcome once more to the GC panel online. In today's tutorial, we are looking at June 2022, uh, Pure Math Mechanics uh, Paper 3. Our dear students, we know we are doing all of this work so that we promote your academics online. We are therefore begging on you that you make sure that you subscribe to this channel because if you don't subscribe, you might find difficulties in watching the question number two of this particular series. Don't forget to go to GCE panel online and click on the subscription button. So we begin with the first question. Our first question reads, a particle of mass, of unit mass, is moving on a horizontal plane under the action of a force F at time T seconds, where F equals that, given that P passes through the point A with velocity 11i plus 10j meters per second after three seconds, find A, the acceleration of P at time T seconds, two max. Dear students, when you pick up a paper like this, it is good that you read through the question like two times, you have a solid understanding of the concepts before you start responding, okay? So with this question, they want us to find the acceleration of this particle. And what do we need for acceleration of particle? For the acceleration of the particle, we need the mass and we equally need the force according to this equation that has been given to us. So here, we know that acceleration, which is a vector, is defined as one over mass times the force. But we have been told here that the mass is one unit. Therefore, this will give us one over one times the force. So this will be equal to uh, the same value that we just have there. Now the B part of the equation, that's in meters per square seconds. Find the velocity of P at time T seconds. Now that we have the acceleration, we can obtain the velocity by integrating the acceleration. So the integral of the I component and the J components respectively will give us the following constants. We will have K1 for the I component and K2 for the J component when we integrate. But the question is telling us that at T equals at three seconds, the velocity of the particle is 11i plus 10j meters per second. So we are going to use this to find the values of k1 and k2. So here we are going to have, substituting the value of t equals three in the velocity that um, we have and equating to the velocity at the three seconds, which is 11i plus 10 j's, we are going to have our k1 to be equal to two and k2 is equal to minus two. Therefore our velocity is t cubed minus 2t squared plus 2i plus 3t squared minus 5t minus 2j meters per second. So this is the B part of the equation. Now C, the kinetic particle of P when it is moving parallel to the vector i. When this particle is moving parallel to the vector i, what does this imply? When it's moving parallel to the vector i, it, may be, it means it's moving along the i axis. And when it's moving along the i-axis, it means that the j component is zero. It is the j component that is zero, not the i component. Take note of this. So therefore, this velocity will be given by, so we are going to ignore the j component and our velocity will just be equal to v equals t cubed minus two t squared plus two i. And the ke will be equal to half m absolute value of v squared. So the absolute value of V, all that squared. All right, I think I omitted something. Squared. So we have to put the, we have a square here. Okay, so this is going to be, now the mass is equal to one. So we have half into all of that squared. And that gives us the a kinetic energy of this particle. All right, now a paragraph introduces us to the D part. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe because if you watch through this video and don't subscribe, you're not helping us. We need to know if you enjoy the content, if people are following the content so that we know if we should make more content or not. We call have content on other subjects and you can always visit our website, www.gcematpanel.blogspot.com or www.gcepanel.com where you can have materials and other stuff, join our study groups and a lot more. 
So for the D part, another particle Q moves along the same straight path as P with velocity 3i plus 4j meters per second. Determine the velocity of P relative to Q at t equals two seconds. So the velocity P Q will be equal to velocity of Q minus velocity of P at t equals two. And when t is equal to two, our velocity of P will just be equal to 2i. Okay, so when we substitute, we are just going to have 2i. So from here, we have 3i plus 4j minus 2i. And that's just going to give us i plus 4j meters per second. Thank you so much. You can leave your comments, you like and you share. Please share our videos on Facebook, share to different WhatsApp groups and a lot more. The more you share, the more you subscribe, the more people see our content, the more we are motivated to make more. We wish God to bless you more as you prepare for your exams as you move now on to question two. Bye-bye.